And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Newcastle United content. So I hope you guys are all okay. We've got a lot to discuss in our second video of the day, which includes a brand new signing, which I'm very, very excited about. It's a player we've been linked to for some time and it's actually been leaked before the club could even announce it. So we'll discuss that in just a moment. There's two uh, minor things I want to discuss first. One is a new kit launch that's been released in the last few hours, the third kit for this season, uh, which we'll discuss in just a second. But of course, tomorrow we are in a pre-season friendly against Urara Red Diamonds in Japan at the Saitama Stadium in Japan. Looking forward to this game. It should be a good um, test for us. Uh, grow, our global, grow our global audience as well. Hopefully some Japanese fans out there that support Newcastle can come watch the game. Should be a good test for a lot of the young players, get some minutes. And uh, yeah, comment down below your score predictions for the match tomorrow. As it is Uwa Red Diamonds, I'm going to go for a 4-1 Newcastle win. And um, I think it should be a good little game for us. It's 11 a.m. tomorrow, or 11.30 a.m. sorry, tomorrow, UK time. And uh, it's going to be a good test for us. Now, let's go through this absolutely beautiful third kit for this season. So there's a little throwback to the 90s for some inspiration. Adidas have launched a Newcastle United third kit for the 2024-25 season. It sees a fusion of the brand's iconic EQT line with the club's rich history and will be worn on pitch for the first time by the men's team on the 3rd of August. So Newcastle United and Adidas are rekindling the relationship for the new 2024-25 season. And for the club's new third shirt, they're dipping back into the era where they first hooked up, the 90s. For this, Adidas have turned to their iconic EQ2 T line, sorry, using that recognizable EQ2 T green as an accent color on the crisp white base. It features on the sleeves and side panels, injecting a bold dose of retro energy, while black details through the collar and three stripes on the shoulders round out the look. But that's not all. Joining the EQ, EQT streetwear aesthetic to further amplify the nostalgic design is a reimagined club crest from the 1980s. The NUFC letters with the club's emblem, the magpies proudly displayed to solidify the club's identity and heritage of the new generation. So, of course, the images were on the screen there. Let me know your thoughts on that uh, shirt as a whole. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think even the white uh, base of it and the Seller logo and the Adidas logo looks really clean and uh, the re- um, designed 80s logo as well from the NUFC um, from the 1980s. looks really, really clean as well. And this is the type of shirt, of course, they were around the pitch, but this is the type of shirt you can wear out um, and not really look out of place. It almost gives like a very retro vibe to it, of course. I know that's what they're going for, for sure. Uh, but the collar, the colors, the black, the green, the white, it all blends really nicely. Um, I'm really, really happy with it, to be fair. Um, and I think you, you could easily wear it out and and not look out of place. Um, it's very interesting as well, of course. This is this is superb for Newcastle because Adidas, for me, are the best kit manufacturer. And this goes to show why the effort they put into kind of bringing back certain aspects of your club's history and make it into a new design. That, of course, is great for the fans that get to try to get, get to wear this like, superb kit, but of course for the club as well, who get to grow their brand even more and generate more income from all these different type of shirt releases as well. Um, so very, very happy overall with that. And I think it's a great design and I, I will be looking forward to um, wearing that this season. So let's get into the next story here, the transfer uh, news. That is, uh, we have signed a player, which is very, very exciting. So Newcastle United looked to have completed the signing of Blackburn Rovers youngster Rory Finneram after images of his unveiling were leaked online. The 16-year-old's move remains subject to confirmation, but it looks like Newcastle have won the race for his signature pending on a compensation package. Finneram will arrive at Newcastle after making his senior debut for Blackburn in the last season's FA Cup in a 5-2 win over Cambridge. The Republic of Ireland Youth International is a defensive midfielder who should be able to challenge for the first team at Newcastle within a couple of seasons. Blackburn Rovers director of football Greg Broughton told the Lancashire Telegraph earlier this year, Rory is a highly, really, highly, really good footballer and he has very high potential, he explained. He comes from a good family network. I have got good dialogue with his father over the last 6 to 12 months. Rory is already playing up a year for Ireland. He's made his first team debut and became the young, youngest ever player for Blackburn Rovers. We remain hopeful that Rory will be here. 
So of course you can see the images on the screen that he is actually pictured in his uh, new Newcastle shirt for this season. This player has been wanted for some time now, um, but the guy continued to say, we are also not naive that someone could make a life-changing offer to him and his family that he'll have to consider. That's the reality of British football right now. So, but after pictures of Beam and Finneram appeared online, it now appears that his move to Tyneside is inevitable. Um, but of course, it's not being officially confirmed by the club at the time of recording this video. It may be in the next few hours. Um, so by the time this video gets released, you might already, already seen the news that he signed. It's done and dusted. But the pictures were leaked online. Of course, he's a 16-year-old. He's not going to get into the first team straight away. But this player was wanted by so many different teams in the Premier League. And the fact that we got there first shows that we have a great project on our hands that he's very interested to work towards and be a part of. And um, he wants to be at the club for many, many years to come. So, of course, the transfer fee is not uh, be mentioned there. It will probably be a compensation package because he's still not a pro. He's only 16. And uh, so we'll probably pay a compensation fee towards Blackburn Rovers for that signing. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this one. Again, it's just improving our, our academy levels, making sure we've got the best possible team for the future. Uh, we've signed so many players already from different Premier League clubs, from AC Milan and stuff like that to put into our youth level and make it the best possible we can. And um, Finneran will definitely do just that. And there's a lot of high hopes that he could probably even feature in certain games this season, maybe in the cup competition, the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, stuff like that. That's how good this guy is at the age of 16. This guy is a generation talent from what we've seen so far for Blackburn. Um, let's not get too carried away. He won't get into the first team straight away, but he could make a few appearances here and there, which is quite exciting to see. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on that situation with Finneram signing for Newcastle, it being leaked online. Are you happy with that sign? I am personally very, very happy with that business from Newcastle. Um, I think it's a really good deal that's been struck there. And I'm very glad that he chose to come to us over the other teams that were interested in him. Of course, as always, let me know your score predictions for tomorrow's match. It's 11.30 a.m. kickoff UK time. Um, and of course, let me know your thoughts on that brand new third kit. I think it's perfect. I think it's amazing, to be fair. I think it's really, really clean. A really nice design. Again, it shows why Adidas are the best kit supplier out there. Um, the effort they put into the kits they make and stuff like that. It's trying to connect the fans with the heritage of the club um, and stuff like that. It's really, really cool to see. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything we just discussed. As always, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more Newcastle United content. It's going to be a busy few weeks uh, ahead of us. There's a lot going on right now. We need to improve the squad a lot more. So expect a lot more videos coming from us with a lot more transfer news and stuff like that make sure you do drop a like on this video also and uh, yeah thank you take care bye bye